stuff for. It's winter time. I'm gonna I'm gonna make this uh, video now. I'm not gonna put it up because I I put up something else this morning. It's a long one. What I did with Ronald Tyson. Anyway, it was a long one, and I don't like to really post more than. But that was an interview. I haven't done a. I don't know. I have to figure this out. But it's cold outside, and I gotta run to Keene University because, uh, you know, brother Carver's out there speaking at James Conyers' class, and I want to try to get an interview with him. I guess I could do my rules. Should be put my hat on. So let's see, see Carver today. So I look revolutionary. Anyway, uh, I guess I could put. The, my rants, you know, these these kind of things can uh, go up every day and the interviews are separate, something like that, but I don't really like to post them on it. Ah, it doesn't matter. I'll figure it out later on. But I have this in my head now, so I got to put it out now because in my head, I got to put it in the deal. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is, uh, this, you know, we're in that season, you know, the season between, what, Thanksgiving and, and uh, New Year's, and so they have all kinds of, this is a caramel apple cider. You know, it's cold out. You think I'd, you know, do some tea like I do in Africa, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just lazy. Actually, I'm in Africa, usually my wife does the tea, hands it to me. So there you go. Well, sometimes I do it myself, but what can we say? Let's see how this tastes. Hmm. Oh, pretty good. Not bad. Caramelized. What am I? Don't I have some glasses I can put away? Wait. Hold on. I'm gonna put some glasses on. So, you know, so I'll be official. I'll put my other glass. No, I'll wear those later. Let me put these glasses on. Ah, yeah. So, look, here's the thing. You know, as you know, ADUS, we're going back and forth, but there's a couple of things. I, I There's another site that I, I check out every once in a while uh, for Africa things, only because I'm, you know, I can't find a site that I used to, never mind, doesn't matter. But that the moment we put, put up something, you know, there's all kinds of stuff happening in Africa. You should pay attention. Uh, so I'm going to sort of link all this together, perhaps. Uh, but you, as you know, the, the ADOS political, you know, we, we political politics, right? And and just dealing with the voting thing, you know, the whole down ballot thing. Remember, what we're trying to do is this. It's very, 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 very simple. You know, you try to, you know, you try to become p politically engaged in your community, but, but like most people, if you're not paying attention, you're just not paying attention. But you go to the ballot box no matter what. You don't stay home. You don't be chilling. You know, watching the game. There's no games on Tuesdays. But you know what I'm saying. You don't be doing whatever. You, 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 whatever. Election day comes along. You go. And right now, you should be paying attention to local policy. You can, if you have an ADOS group in your, in your, in your area, then try to hang with them, you know. So, so you get more informed. But okay, but for the rest of us, you know, or even when I'm sitting in South Africa, you know, I won't have that choice when I vote anyway. It doesn't matter because uh, I have to do absentee ballot because I don't think I'll be, oh, no, wait, I might be back for, I'll be back for elections. Uh, it doesn't matter. But the point is, when you go, you know, you, uh, if you don't know what's going on, or somebody's, let me put it this way, if, if you have some in your district, in your area, in your congressional, whatever it is, if if you if, if say, say a Democrat's there and they run unopposed, or a Republican is running unopposed, right? And you know they're going to be the winner. You know I mean, definitely going to be the winner, like 90% or whatever it is. You're not in some swing state or some situation where there's a real contest. Then what you do is just rather than, rather than pay a vote for the post, person going to be unopposed, just write in ADOS. Okay, it's a strategy. We're talking strategy and tactics now. Okay, okay. If you have some going on today, this uh, referendum, you got to sort of pay attention to. So you look in the newspaper the day ahead or whatever it is. Um, then, then if you have some other things like you know dog catchers, anybody's unopposed, right? Just write a DOS in. Okay, it's a signature thing. Uh, and if and if you have a, a otherwise, you make your regular informed choices. Okay, so that's the strategy. The reason why you do that is the more ADOS we can write in, then 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 that just says, ooh, this signal, there's something's going on. ADOS, ADOS, and then people's got to sort of listen to that, pay attention to that. You got that strategy? I'm not going to go anymore on that. Okay, well, so leave that alone. But here's the other thing that I've been thinking about, right? Reparations. Okay, now we're dealing with, ADOS is dealing with reparations due or debt due. We want them to schedule the debt due, you know, for payment of uh, reparations to a specific group, the American descendants of chattel slavery, okay? 
that's the thing. But remember, where this debt is due from the United States government. You got that, right? Now, the United States government didn't start to whatever, 1776 or whenever it started, right? We just use that date. Actually, what started 1776 is the whole codification of the race thing, you know, black, white, blah, blah, blah. That's, that's when this country became white. <laughs> that's when white people, that's when whiteness became the standard, the, the privileged class, or the, the privileged caste, I should say. The privileged caste of this country is white, okay? The class is something else. Those are economic kind of things, okay? So this debt is due from the United States government from, since 1776, okay? Now, of course, slavery was before 1776, so there's all sorts of reparations due people that came, blah, 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 okay? So, so, so our specific thing right now is deal with that. Now, that debt due, people put a price on it. And, you know, people, you, look, y'all could do whatever price you want. I got a number two. <laughs> I got a number two. My number is just as valid as all these other numbers because everybody's pulling this stuff out of thin air and don't tell me they, 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 they calculate the because you can't calculate certain things. You know you can't calculate it. intellectual things, but blah, 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 blah. You can't calculate those kind of things. The number of people comes up somewhere between, whatever, say 15 trillion, you know, fiat dollars. I leave that alone, right? Because I like the number three, right? So my stuff has got to add up to three, so a derivative of three, right? So here's here's my formula. I come up with. Ready for this? Okay. 21 trillion Fiat country, fiat country currency, right? Paid, you know, for some portion I paid right away for various things, setting up commissions, you know, doing studies or whatever it is, and that that would be in the U.S. dollars, right? Also, also, twenty-one trillion in 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 um, in cryptocurrency, okay? Because I believe that the fiat stuff is going to be devalued or whatever it is, okay? And twenty-one trillion. In precious metals, you know, gold, silver, platinum, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that adds up to 63 trillion <laughs> that has to be paid to descendants of chattel slavery. Those kind of folks. Don't worry about this. So now, so, 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 so let's just deal with, let me just say, so, so, so the, 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 the um, uh, the, the, the thing before, you know, the thing of, say, um, you know, 1776, right? Whatever, da, 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 da. But now we have that 1619, you know, to 1776, and actually before 169, whatever it's done. So now this other stuff, this this window between, uh, I'm just using the figure, 1619 to 1776, that, yeah, the people would beat up on that too, but where that come from? That would include, you know, the the the, the slave the slavers the ships you know the, the insurance companies even the people that's building their uh, that stealing lands and stuff like that I got I got American Indian in my thing you know I got Mohawk Indian in my thing I won't get let's not get confused with the Mohawk with the Indians okay um yeah yeah no you, you got you got here we go here's the big one here's the big one ready for this the Catholic Church the Catholic Church, remember, they apologized for, for slavery. They put, took back that papal bull. I was traveling. I wrote them a letter thanking them for that. So, so you know, they know that they're guilty, right? What, various and sundry other things. So that's what makes up that other, for lack of a better thing, you know, the 21 and the 21, that's 42. That's 40. That's, that makes up the other 42 trillion, whatever, 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 whatever. So now where does that come from? from oh, oh, forgot. And remember, the, the, the also the Africans that allowed this stuff to happen. So right away you have certain things. That's where the you know, Dr. Mumby and paying attention to that kind of the first thing that should be done without any question, don't even think about it. There's no commission, whatever have you, if you have a fee free visas, okay? So the African Union, the, all the African states, hey, you in the diaspora, you with any any place in Africa, you have a Visa, you get your visa, go any place you want to in Africa, set up businesses, make business alliances, I should say, blah, 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 blah. This is all part of reparations, you see? So that's the first thing that needs to be done, is that that, that fee-free visa, that's very important to me. It's very important to me. So, 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 so that takes care of Africans and whatever. Now, that means you have resources, you can make sort of deals, you know, with gold herders, with, with diamond mine, whatever, 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 whatever. Okay, so yeah, and that's, that takes care of the diaspora people. In this case, a whole bunch of people that's been complaining about this. Uh, I don't know what are they complaining about, you know, but uh, I owe my stuff to England and blah, 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 blah. But all that takes care of that. But, you know, uh, and that's sort of, well, so that's part of that. So you got it. 
So I'm trying to say there's two, there's, 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 there's the, uh, we're, we're concerned with right now, that's our main impetus, is the uh, uh, ADOS. And ADOS has a debt due that should be scheduled from, you know, the debt is due from, the should be paid from the United States government. And then there's other things, right? And that's where this, all these other figures come in. <laughs> Woo! So you get it? Boy, we got our work cut out for us. So we'll see what happens because you know I'm, what, 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 what bothers me about the, the, the debt due and, or scheduling the debt due from just fiat money from just the petrol dollar or just from the US dollar has really to do with um, uh, with, with the dollar collapsing you know with the dollar being worthless because you know things are, sh are shifting in this world real quick you know so I want to make sure that we you know our 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 payment is worth something that's why I have this back up with the, with the with the cryptocurrency and also with the with the precious metals okay is that all very clear I hope it is just a little message for me actually a big message for me T from the Patterson of taking the train to bed, letting you know what I only suspect from a reality this is a reality of the ADOS so that would be the North American descendants of chattel slavery 